The opportunities that we as a community are missing when we don't afford all children access to high quality childcare is that we are setting ourselves up that we will awaken one day and find out there's no labor force that's prepared with the skills that are necessary to forge our community forward. You know, when I first started my job at the City of Houston as the Director of Education, I get the question of, well, how does really this translate into economic activity? There's a study from the Learning Policy Institute in Palo Alto that estimates for every dollar invested in quality pre-K education, you have $17 on return on your investment in social benefits. Where is that investment? I am happy to invest in that. A child who has been in a quality pre-K education tends to be healthier, um, tends to take care of themselves a lot better, and tends to show um, their community and teaches the other community to actually be part of, of that healthy lifestyle. So it's health, um, it's economic in terms of employment. So if you kind of couple these together, you get to that $17 number. When we don't expose children to STEM early, we're missing out on our promise, our future. There are so many incredible future leaders, but we have to invest in them early. If we don't invest in our children early to build the talent, to build the leadership, to build the confidence, I think we'll just be lost as a society. Between the ages of birth to five, 90% of the brain's neural synapses are developing. If we don't allow the child's brain to wire itself to love lifelong learning independently, then we will yield those results that are absolutely dismal in the future of the child. 55% of the kids tested do not have the basic skills to enter kindergarten, period. That is shocking. By the time that group of children gets to third grade, only a third of the children are literate, according to the third grade literacy exam. Well, if we don't get it right from pre-K through to that level, we continue in this vicious cycle where we have children who are showing up to give you their very best, but we have to have our schools and our system of education ready to receive them and to give them what they need. Quality childcare is not a nicety. It's a necessity, and it's fundamentally an opportunity for people to participate in a working society, and one that contributes to innovation and to allow other companies to want to buy into the Houston area. So if we don't have the strength of a very highly qualified labor force who has the opportunity to go to work because their children are well cared for and are learning in a nurturing environment, then we leave ourselves void of those opportunities for our city to grow and prosper. Whether investments are made or not will really determine the future and the success of the metropolitan areas, including Houston.